right, today I have a video of my catch can. Uh, just taking measurements of where the angle of the camera is because I don't usually use a tripod, but I'm gonna use a tripod today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so I just purchased this uh, oil catch can for my 2006 Honda Civic Si. And the reason for it is because after I put my full race cat back exhaust, uh, I had to take off the EGR valve hose that goes from the valve covers to the intake manifold or to the intake piping because uh, these K20s like to burn oil, um, especially when you hit VTEC. So when I'd come to a stop, I could smell the cloud of oil. Not burning because I'm not burning white smoke. Uh, it's just like the fumes of the oil. Um, so essentially this is what it's for to catch all the oil that's coming out uh, like I said I just put a filter on the valve covers and there's oil getting all over my car all over my windshield everywhere I don't like it uh, I hate it that's the reason why I made this purchase uh, so what this catch can came with is the canister thinking of the name and the setup uh, so it didn't come with this rubber seal um, I have a kit that has a bunch of different sizes uh, the way this goes I'm assuming is this doesn't have a seal either so I'm thinking maybe this might go here it might not, it might not need to, but I know if we add that rubber seal to it, it will create a seal. Yeah. So, we'll go ahead and do that for now. Okay, I don't think that one takes the seal. Um, but for sure it has to be with this one, but it's too big to be honest with you um, So we're gonna set that to the side This one probably just takes this just like this. This is how it came with uh, Come on, all of this is screwing it on there should not be a problem Nice and flushed Take that off for now. Nice upper spins. I don't like that. Okay, anyways, so the way this is going to go is you could either choose which fittings you want. Uh, I should use these, but for now. I'm gonna be using these big ones so I can use the hose that it came with. See? But it does have the uh, other attachments so you can use whichever size hoses you want. Uh, but I am gonna use these for now. Uh, like I said, this one did not come with it and I am going to use this one. It's gonna be for the bottom joint. And we'll just go ahead and get started on this assembly. So you can go down here with the little seal that I just put in there. We'll screw that on there. We'll get some crescent wrenches because it might be different sizes. I'm not too sure, but I'm just gonna drive that in there. And it doesn't go all the way through, so there is no purpose of that there. I don't want to break it. Thread all the way, so it shouldn't be a problem unless the screw is skinny and fat. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's skinny and fat. It shouldn't be. But I really 
you don't want to break this, just let it. Okay. Well then, if you're not going to seal. This is what happens when you get unassembled kits. So I don't want to, uh, I don't want oil. This is the whole purpose I'm getting this damn catch can. So, there. Three rings. It's just a little too tight. Man. And this is why I like to assemble stuff first and then show you guys. So I'm not around. And before we insert that one, now that we know the complete size, we're gonna add some Teflon tape. This was not included in the kit. Really, I'm getting. Huh? Cool. Looks like we're actually more big. So, so now it's gonna go there. Cool. All right, there's the bottom. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these hoses in here, and there's a gap in here where they go through. So, Pretty sure you can't. Well, look, you could see in there. Sweet. There it is. So it's going inside into the canister. Wish there was some sort of filter to catch it, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, now we're going to add Teflon tape to these right here. And that one. These are ready from the pre Teflon. So I'm not going to add any to that, just so I don't block the holes.
be right back. All right, I have the first one situated. Uh, I removed the Teflon. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna twist this way first. That way we twist the hose. And then we'll screw it in here. even throw some hot air in here. <laughs> that one's hella twisted. But that one isn't and that's how I was able to give it to flex a little bit more. Um, yeah, that one's twisted. I might have to do this one again. But essentially that's how I figured out that that's how we have to do it because that's how I got that one. This one did All right, I figured out a trick. Uh, so once you have the hose in there straight now, just kind of like pinch it down a little bit with a flathead. And then tighten these up, you know, once tight ready. This one's a little clogged up. We're gonna go ahead and, and do the same thing with this one here. And tighten these up a little bit more. the next process is these here and this will tell us what our oil level is which this is actually what had me sold on this one here because uh, you're able to have an oil level Let's see where the oil is at so you know when to dump it Sorry, this video is taking forever. Pretty good, I think. And then we're just gonna insert that there.
this, this. There it is. Mm. Sweet. That will be for another video. For now. There it is. The Cardinals. <laughs> I don't know why they would provide with this fucking position. Pose, but whatever. smaller ones. the same size. It's perfect. I just have to work that in there. Chop chop. Sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. After I finished installing everything, I realized the second hose that this one is connected to and it goes into the uh, the canister here I shouldn't have put it in there the only one that should have a hose is just the send not the return because now that I'm thinking about it this has a vacuum because of the intake so it's gonna suck the oil so I need to take that little hose off so let me take it off real quick all right there's the hose right there and there is the connection and I have it all twisted up and I haven't let it go so I'm gonna put it all in so it's all straight all right the hose is off I think that's probably just an extra one when you do it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.